What jewels did Kate get from the Queen? The multi-million dollar platinum and diamond necklace that the Queen handed to Princess Kate served as an accessory for her outfit. What did Kate get from Queen Elizabeth while she was attending the occasion in a midnight blue Jenny Packham dress? While Kate Middleton wore a pearl choker once owned by Her Late Majesty, the Queen handed Meghan a set of pearl and diamond drop earrings for their first joint wedding in 2018, the same year Meghan wedded into the family. Princess Charlotte. Will she get jewelry? Royal watchers claim that when Princess Charlotte gets older, she will be able to choose from among the palace jewels, and two pieces are already being prepared for the six-year-old. A recent rumor claims that Princess Charlotte, not Lilibet, would inherit a rare artifact that belonged to Princess Diana. Will Kate Middleton be given the diamonds from the Queen? Kate Middleton will get the majority of Queen Elizabeth's diamond inventory. But there's a problem. The royal family has started rummaging through Queen Elizabeth's possessions following her passing at the age of 96. Who receives the entire royal jewels? Only the reigning king, presently King Charles III, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and the royal jeweler are entitled to handle the crown jewels, which are subject to stringent rules. Who will receive the wedding band from Queen Elizabeth? According to the same report, Princess Anne, a daughter of the Queen, would likely get her mother-in-law Princess Alice of Battenberg's engagement ring. In favor of rehoming Andrew exclusively for the foreseeable future, King Charles rules out scaling back the extent of his real estate business. Any shrinkage of the monarchy's vast property empire has been forbidden by the King. The King wishes to render Buckingham Palace a home fit for a king, and has ruled out any considerable reduction of the monarchy's enormous real estate enterprise. He has vowed to proceed with plans to live above a store, after a £369 million refurbishment is accomplished in four years, and results in an improvement of the monarch's quarters on the north side of the palace. William is determined on pressing through with the plans, and another new despite doubt from some royal insiders, who believe he and Queen Camilla would like the London residents to remain at adjacent Clarence House. The fact that his attempts to give Prince Andrew the keys to Harry and Meghan's Windsor house, and to have him evicted from his Royal Lodge apartment, are a part of a bigger plan to lessen the number of his family's residences, and save the expenditures of the monarchy, goes against expectations. The planned house transfer, according to the Daily Express, is solely meant to aid Andrew with his financial difficulties brought on by the King, decreasing his stipend after his fall from grace, as well as to make amends with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for their repeated criticisms of the company. Despite suggestions that these ideas were being examined when the new King ascended to the crown in September, Buckingham Palace would neither become largely a tourist attraction or be given handed over to the nation. The King wants to make official residences like Buckingham Palace and Balmoral, which is a private residence held by the current monarch, more accessible to the general people, but he is still finding out how to achieve it. But, he is currently focusing on Andrew, whose 30-room, 7-bedroom Royal Lodge house in Windsor is apparently so dilapidated that it requires substantial renovations that the King is concerned his brother will not be able to fund. The extremely broad exterior of the £30 million home, which itself was decorated from Windsor pink to white on Andrew's orders when he took over the Queen Mother's former country residence after her death in 2002, is reportedly in need of a new roof, as well as repointing and redecorating of its impressive frontage. One source put the price of the artwork alone at £1 million. Next to you. Are close to the primary palace. The six cottages on the 98-acre grounds, which were once home to royal employees, are thought to have fallen into dis-